Namaskaram to all. Happy Navaratri 2023. I am Raja Lakshmi from Bangalore. Welcome to our Gulu. This year, the main theme of our Gulu is Thiruvalayadal Puranam. Thiruvalayadal Puranam is a Tamil literary work penned by Paranjodi Munivar. Thiruvalayadal Puranam has 64 chapters. The 64 chapters describe 64 incidents, in other words, 64 miracles that Lord Shiva conducted at the holy city of Madurai. Out of all the 64 stories, we have made a maiden attempt to just portray 10 stories at our Guru. So, here is the fifth chapter of Thiruvalayadal Puranam, which is Tadadadai Piratiyar. Thirumana Padalam. Each chapter is named Padalam and Tadadagai Piratiya Thirumana Padalam means the wedding event of Goddess Meenakshi in which Lord Shiva took a human form in the name of Sundareshwara and married Goddess Meenakshi. So you can see the entire wedding setup, Meenakshi Kalyanam setup here. Now moving on to the next story. Whenever you talk about marriage, the first thing comes to our mind is food. So, this is the next miracle which Lord Shiva conducted at Madurai. Goddess Meenakshi, like any other woman, was so proud of her city, her father and all the wealth that her city had. So, she boasted to Lord Shiva about the wealth of Madurai. Lord Shiva wanted to teach her a lesson. He told, I will agree to whatever you say only if you can feed this one single man. So he is Gundodharan and the topic is, the chapter is Gundodharanakku Annam Itta Padalam where Lord Shiva fed Gundodharan. Meenakshi, based on the request of Lord Shiva, ordered this Kundodharan to be fed. Kundodharan's hunger was insatiable. The more he ate, the more he wanted. Like that, he was keeping on eating till the food at the whole of Madurai got empty. Lord Meenakshi realized her mistake and then apologized to Shiva saying, Please Swami, please make this person, please make him satisfy his hunger. So, Lord Shiva created this Annakuri, which is nothing but an earthen pit where rice came and as soon as uh, Gundodara took one mouth of rice, his hunger was satisfied. Next, he wanted water. He started shouting, water, water, water. So, the whole of water of the Madurai city the lake, pond, everything dried up and that couldn't satisfy or quench his thirst. Then Lord Shiva instructed Ganges to appear at Madurai and Ganges took the name of Vaigai and then appeared at Madurai. The Vaigai river is named so because Vai in Tamil means keep and Kai in Tamil means hand. Lord Shiva placed his hand on the ground and then the river appeared. So that is why it is named Vaigai. So this chapter is given in Annakuriyum Vaigaiyum Aretha Padalam. Lord created river Vaigai and a rice pit to satisfy the hunger of Gundodaran. So this actually satisfied the hunger of Gundodaran. And next we are moving to Manika Vasagar. When you talk about Madurai, you really cannot forget Manika Vasagar. Manika Vasagar was born in a place called Thiruvadavur. Earlier, he was a minister of King Arimattana Pandya. Arimattana Pandya gave some money to Manika Vasagar and asked Manika Vasagar to buy some horses for the war. On the way, to buy the horses, Manika Vasagar at a place called Tirupurundurai got enlightenment. Like 
got enlightenment under the bodhi tree manika vasagar saw lord shiva in the form of a guru under a tree called kurundu tree and that is when he started writing tiruvasagam now what happened arimattana pandian said manika vasagar never returned with the money he gave manika vasagar used up all the money to build the temple at a place called tiruperundurai after building the temple he started chanting prayer of lord shiva and stayed there king sent his army to bring manika vasagar and put him in jail so when he asked lord shiva lord shiva said you just go and tell the king that on the day of avani moolam start all your horses will arrive so on the day of avani moolam lord shiva himself took a human form and then he rode all the horses and then brought to king arimattana pandya arimattana pandya became happy and then fred manika vasagar that night all the jackals which shiva had originally converted into horses in order to satisfy the king ran away into the forest so those chapters are nariye pariyakiya padalam nari means fox and pari means horse and the rivers pari nariyakiya padalam pari means horse and nari means jackal so when this happened raja was really angry and made manika vasagar stay in a hot land so to save manika vasagar lord shiva created a flood at vaigai and vaigai started overflowing so pari nariyakiya padalam is when lord shiva made dry river vaigai overflow so when this happened the king ordered the people of madurai that one person from each and every family should come to do the repair work so that the floods are stopped there was one old lady named vandi she was a lonely lady she was a great devotee of lord shiva she didn't have anybody to take care of her she made her living by just selling a dish called puttu lord shiva in order to show the world the devotion of manika vasagar as well as vandi took the form of a kuli in other terms laborer and then came to vandi party and said just give me the leftover food i will work for you and then i will represent you represent you in order to fix the vaigai dam but then lord shiva went there he never did any work he ate slept ate slept ate slept so the raja ordered his men to beat lord shiva when the men beat lord shiva the people of the entire madurai city felt the pain and the people realized that it was lord shiva who had come as a laborer so next moving on to the 62nd padalam 62nd chapter this is an event where saint tirunyana sambandha the youngest of saiva samaya kuravargal nalvar he cured one disease illness of koon pandian through sing his vibhuti that is the tirunir he sang a song about the holy ash with which the disease of koon pandian was cured so this is tirunyana sambandha curing king koon pandian's fever through the blessing of lord shiva and the next story is analvadam punalvadam which is nothing but the fire war and the water war tirunyana sambandha in order to establish the saivite philosophies wrote the text about lord shiva and shaivism and the greatness of shaivism and put the text in fire the fire did not burn the text at the same time he also put the text in water the what the text instead of sinking in the vaigai river floated and then reached a place called tiru edagam this established the greatness of shaivism at madurai city and last story is vanniyum kinarum 
லிங்கமும் சான்றுரைத்த படலம் which means lord shiva made vanni tree a flowerless tree and a well and shiva lingam to appear as a testimony to prove that a wedding at tirupurambayam happened at madurai there was a woman whose wedding took place at a place called tirupurambayam in front of saint tirunyala sambandha but there was no witness for the wedding except the shivalingam a well and the vanni tree when that woman came to madurai all the people of madurai assassinated her character saying that she had in married that man and she is lying when the lady prayed lord shiva a vanni tree and a well and shivalingam appeared in the north east direction of madurai proving the greatness of the lady so out of all the 64 stories these are the 10 stories which we have tried to portray here at our guru hope you all enjoyed these stories thank you